What's up guys? It's Kirby Smith with Lightspeed Construction here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Actually gonna be kind of in the in the Fountain City area here. And we are looking at a roof that has had problems, multiple problems of shingles blowing off. And our owner um, has had us out to repair this roof a couple of times and look at it. And I went ahead and did something. I'm not sure if anybody else has done just yet. I took some chalk and I I chalked up the sagger pattern of these shingles. And I know I've talked about this on our YouTube channel quite a bit. Um, and I didn't chalk up the entire roof, obviously. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that in here. The, you know, those patterns are designed to go in a certain way. Really, you want a six inch stagger. The biggest reason for that, and the reason we preach it so, so heavily as to our manufacturers, is because your roof can end up having issues with shingle blow off um, the roof's not very strong this way and and really you can end up with one union in line with another union below it which is obviously um, probably where you'll see the weakest portions of the roof and, and examples of issues where the shingles are blowing off one of the things these guys uh, did get correct is to get the rows nice and straight. They had a chalk line out here, which is nice. So it would have had maybe some more issues with this roof. Um, I use expensive hip and ridge shingles as well. Don't really see any problems with those. The, I think the big mention here is just that kind of on all sides, these shingles have just been laid incorrectly. They're not in a correct stagger type pattern. And they just, just aren't really going to have as good of a chance at making it. Um, if you look, I don't want to step too close to these shingles that are moving. Well, this video might take a totally different direction. If you look at some of these shingles that are coming apart, coming off here. You know, I see a nail hole right there that is is definitely high so in some cases the shingles are going to be high nailed like there and here for example um they are hitting the second course which is nice but it's just you're missing them like you missed this here this is a uh, an example of where the shingle was high nailed now this roof is is repairable um this roof is in poor health though uh, it's brand new oh four or five year old dimensional shingle and you know, I'm sure the roofing contractors moved back to Texas or wherever. And, uh, you know, it kind of, it's a little sad for this owner. I, I hate it for them. Um, know that we had done some repairs to this side of the roof. I'm not exactly sure what that looked like. But this is what a correct stagger pattern, or mostly correct stagger pattern, should look like. You should be in and around six inches going up the entire length of the roof and really having you know some consistency where the unions are not gonna fall in line together so this is uh this is kind of the section of roof that we tied into right there you can see that here and then this is a section that would have been in pretty much an I'm guessing complete failure for us to have done this repair but guys definitely get you know better laid shingle patterns um you know we're not exactly looking for perfect on it but really the big thing the big reason why we preach that is you don't want the shingles to well the blow off for example um and number two uh, the second most important thing is you don't want the unions lining up from one row to the next. So anyway, I uh, hope this helped this owner. I suggest doing what we've done, kind of trying to limp along with this roof as best as possible. Cross our fingers for the next hailstorm and, and fix leaks and, and problems as they come because this is an expensive job to redo. But obviously they're decision maker on that and they can, they can make their, their mind up themselves. And hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you very much for viewing. I appreciate it. Thank you.